Yellowstone and Hawaii volcano connections. How do they affect each other and why? I just received a comment from someone who viewed my one of my latest videos, Yellowstone volcano, magnitude 7 earthquake, how it rocked the area again after 60 years. That was a briefing from one of the USGS lectures having to do with the activity in Yellowstone. It was found that that earthquake of 1959 of a 7.2 magnitude Richter, which lasted about 30 seconds, only half a minute, was found to have had an effect on the Hawaiian Islands because of the fact that it changed the level of the water in the wells. And using Google Earth, we know that the distance from the Big Island, Hawaii, up to Yellowstone is about 3,200 miles. That's quite a big distance. Now, from this map, you can see Hawaii sits in the middle of the Pacific Plate, that little dot there. That's 3,200 miles from Yellowstone. Yellowstone, as we know, is just on the Rockies, the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains are sitting on top of a subduction zone. That's how they were formed, because of the Phaleron, the Pacific Plate, uh, being lodged underneath the North American plate. That's a subduction. It's going underneath the North American plate. And here we have it again on Google Earth. The Big Island Hawaii is the uh, that little train of uh, islands in the Pacific. And from there to Yellowstone, 3,200 miles. So that earthquake of magnitude 7.1 caused the water wells in Hawaii to change level because of that earthquake. How is that possible? We were asking. That's such a long distance away. And also recently, about a month ago, we had an earthquake swarm in Hawaii. Some of them had uh, quite a bigger uh, magnitude, about three and a half, four Richter. And uh, we noticed that a couple of minutes later, we had the same size earthquake in Yellowstone. And this was noticed by Ben Fiorullo. We update, we uh, upload his videos because they are Creative Commons reuse allowed, and we do. Uh, we, so we have the authority to upload them for your benefit, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to go and visit his website. He's got fantastic information there as well. He analyzes mostly Yellowstone, but every other uh, uh, area that has geologic events as well. So he noticed that Hawaii earthquake, the same size in Yellowstone. He said, how is it that they're connected? So we had this comment today just in from one of our viewers, Francis Marcel Vos. And uh, he believes that he has uh, found the reason why this takes place. He says, just today, I got this a few minutes ago. He says, just today, I solved a similar problem concerning the Ora Fajico Icelandic volcano eruption in 1362. It was preceded by a big earthquake that had church buildings collapse, probably seven or eight on the Richter scale, magnitude seven or eight, which is pretty big. Now, there are two types of earthquakes, he says, volcanic and tectonic. Often, volcanoes erupt when tectonic earthquakes happen. These tectonic earthquakes can be followed by volcanic earthquakes and eruptions occur when, they, uh, when the way of least resistance is upward. Tectonic earthquakes do not occur randomly, but in a wave-like pattern, often around craton edges. Everywhere where the earth layers are broken, pieced or cut through by volcanoes and magma chambers, the probability is increasing for earthquakes to occur. Compare it to waves breaking where shallow water makes waves to lift up. That is what happened in Yellowstone and Hawaii. The tectonic earthquakes happened in both places and had an effect in both places. Tectonic earthquakes don't stand alone but occur 
in succession on each other, compare it to waves in the sea. A big tsunami can cause damage both in Japan and on the west coast of America. The source may be in the Cascadia Fault, so the damage in both Yellowstone and Hawaii can have a single source close to New Zealand, just like tsunamis. The 7.2 uh, magnitude earthquake may originate in the Pacific Ocean and the 8.5 magnitude on the Richter scale, just like a tsunami causes flooding around the Pacific in various places, the origin is just one single place. So in short, the Yellowstone did not cause the thing in Hawaii. A single event in the Pacific caused both events. And then he says, I refer to the video of Dutch Sense for a deeper understanding of the phenomena. So that's fantastic. Uh, yes, now we're talking about tectonic plates. We're talking about cracks in tectonic plates where you have underwater volcanoes, you have earthquakes taking place there. We just recently found, as we said, an underwater volcano in Mayotte, uh, just uh, between uh, Madagascar and Africa. And that was the huge earthquake that we had that uh, made the earth ring like a bell in uh, uh, the big earthquake that we all noticed. November 11th, 1111, and we said, why is that? 1111, how strange. Okay, so uh, that lasted for, what did they say, 20 minutes? Well, I felt it, and I'm in Athens, Greece, you know, and that thing was uh, all the way down towards Madagascar, and uh, evidently the whole world felt it, and we were wondering why that took place, where did it come from? Someone immediately, a couple of days later, came out and said it could have been an undersea collapsed magma chamber. And obviously they were right. The, uh, the magma was emptying. It happened to be emptying towards a new volcano that is born. And um, we don't know what's happening undersea. We don't know what's under there. there there's, uh, it's it's an, unknown, an unknown different part of our... Uh, environment of our planet that takes a lot of time and money and energy to discover. Look at this. This is huge. This Pacific Ocean is just unbelievably totally undiscovered uh, as far as geology is concerned. So thank you Francis Marcel Voss. Thank you very much. Um, I, hope, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, I, it sounds French. I don't, I don't know if you're French or not. Uh, merci beaucoup, <laughs> uh, Francis Marcel, if you're French. Thank you. And uh, that's uh, one more piece of good information to have under our belt when we're uh, talking about these things. And we're learning every day together. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.